Hey guys, I'm entertainment reporter Dustin Williams. I'm out here in Hollywood and I got the opportunity to catch up with Pete Gardner and Donna Lynn Champlin, who are going to be starring in the CW's new hit series that's coming out, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. So let's check it out. Hey! Well, guys, how's it going? Us, it's going fantastic. How are you guys doing? Good. Aces. Good. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the show and, and your individual characters. Um, we are sort of a, a very unique genre of television, I think, mm -hmm. where um, we're a comedy, but we also have musical elements that are all original. They're all original songs and um, no covers. And my play the part of Paula Proctor, who is the paralegal at um, uh, at uh, White, White Feather, Feather and Associates. I play Daryl White Feather, yes. and um, I'm the head attorney and also the founder of White Feather and Associates. Yeah, and like character wise, I guess, relationship wise, I eventually become like the Ethel Mertz to her Lucille Ball. It's sort of our, our dynamic, but. Does that make me Fred? Yes, it does. It makes you. It, or Little Ricky. I'm probably the Little Ricky. Oh my God, you are? I'm the Little Ricky. I think it would work. Really? You are Little I'm Look Ricky. at your little pajamas coming out, ladies. Yeah, exactly. What's going on? You guys, I don't understand. Don't fight mommy and daddy. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, that was nice. That was beautiful. <laughs> One and done. Uh, but it is, it, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to come to work every day. I mean, it's just, it's just a blast. All these great Such actors. Great people. All a great crew. So funny. Great writers. And then they create a new or two or three new songs for each every episode. Every episode. Oh, wow. Like, we're talking like 25 original songs in a matter of six months. That's insane. And they're all great. And like they're, that's the thing that I can't, funny. I keep waiting for a clunker, quite honestly. Yeah. You but know, catchy. I keep waiting for one. And there they're all in different genres. So there's yeah. like a boy band one, there's a gospel song, there's a country and western song, there's a Billy Joel song. Fred and Ginger. There's a Fred and Ginger Beyonce. type song. A lot of variety. Yeah. So it's like, but it, but it, the, the other world's thing our oyster musically is that it comes out of the scenes, you know, like it comes out of the it's story. It's very character driven, which is fantastic. Right. You know, it's not like feeling like, oh, we're gonna take this, you know, uh, Stevie Wonder song, or Billy Joel song, and we're gonna throw it in here. They actually, what they do is they go, oh, this has got kind of like a Billy Joel feel, and then they write a song in a Billy Joel sort of genre. So it really, and the, the lyrics pertain to what's happening. So you you don't ever feel as an actor or a singer that you're being shoehorned. Right. Into the lyrics that were written to something like 30 years ago. You know, everything or that you're saying something... makes sense to what you're doing as the character. Right. And it's not like, like this is something that Rachel has, like, she wrote this song for a show no she Trump did songs. years yeah. ago. We're not pulling Trump yeah, songs. Yeah, it's all new and it's all just, which is incredible. That's Very an catchy. incredible task. And each one of you guys get to be a part. I mean, all the cast members are we a part. We do. Of everybody sings. And everybody and even dances. We had a, we had a, a guest actor who came on and she sang. Which one? Uh, the, um, the, uh, I don't want to say what the song was, the yoga. Oh, yes! And, it, and killed it. Crushed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the Gabby. other thing that's been fantastic. The people that come on have been fantastic across the board and embraced instantly as part of the family, as, like, part of this group. So, like, yeah. Absolutely. And what's even cool is, like, now that, like, they're, they're the writers are, we're getting to know each other better, they're getting to know us as people. You're starting to see, I'm starting to see little references of like something that I said offhandedly at lunch. Right, yeah. that's true. A couple it just weeks works later, episode 105, I'm like, hey, <laughs> wait a second. Which is great though, because, because you can you, easily get behind you say, it. Yeah, if you said it in your real life, you're like, well, I can pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that means. I said it. <laughs> well, guys, I appreciate your time very much. I look forward to watching the show. Absolutely. Yay, thank, thank you so you much. Thank you for coming. Thanks for spreading the word. Yeah, you can check out Crazy Ex-Girlfriend on the Arkansas CW on Mondays at 7 o'clock.